I feel like I'm in La La Land right now. I'm kind of really switching my career. And that's always a very risky and dark path in the sense of that you never know what really is going to happen and you kind of fear that everything goes wrong. I was on Tinder yesterday and it just, I, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I haven't figured it out yet. I respect women in the sense of knowing that they don't want to be treated like a piece of meat. But I also am not looking for anything connecting beneath surface level. And I watched this video of this woman that said that the sexual revolution might be backfiring. And I kind of agree in, in, in what she said, not to prove my point, but the female role in society is kind of trying to get to the sexual role of men instead of trying men to get more to be like how women sexually behave, um, which kind of would solve a couple of problems, maybe. Primarily, this video is for me to look back on because <clears throat> I am a confident motherfucker, and that means I know I'm gonna get to where I want to. And so this video is just for me to document my journey. That's the parts that get lost, the way it starts. The uncertainty is kind of what makes a story a good story. Half of my brain always thinks about if what I say makes sense to who I'm saying it to. Anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> and that's why I say anyway so often. Good morning. Hope you're good. Part of the strategy right now is to build a reel. Right now I'm applying to a lot of short films, student films, and indie films. My manager brand is mostly doing the administrative stuff and I'm just doing the auditions. And it's been a ton of auditions. <sighs> Two, three auditions a day, lots of text to learn. And so far, four, uh, four or five movies already confirm me. Woo. There's films. I filmed one yesterday that was pretty crazy. I thought student films were like a couple students having fun with the camera. <laughs> no. So, I confirmed another role yesterday that I'm really excited about. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a Columbia University project. I'm playing a DP, which is the person that's filming on set. And my role yesterday was already very douchey. It was like the guy at the party that's drunk that's trying to have sex with all the girls. The next role is the guy on set and has sex with all the crew. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Well, I have to do quite a lot of stuff until I get myself ready to go back on set. We're filming today again. We're filming again. We're filming again today. Um, and then tomorrow I have Two director meetings. One with, um, no, I don't want to talk so much. <laughs> All right, well, it's Sunday. I love Sundays. I'm about to eat so much candy and feel really bad. Where's my cookie? Where's my cookie? Where's my cookie? I'm so tired of being exactly on time because it's it's always stressful. I think what my goal is going to be for March is to always be 15 minutes early. I think that's going to be my goal for March. Whatever. You want to drive? Because <laughs> now I'm going to be one minute early, right? Sounds good. But my A type ass is it's gonna stress the entire 30 minutes drive or 24 minutes drive. I make sure that I'm gonna be there at 12.30. I'd rather build my discipline to be there 15 minutes early every time and then not stress about any minutes. Whoever wants to join me, feel free to join me. I didn't breakfast, it's Sunday. I'm supposed to have my Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Anyway, happy Sunday, I love you. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I pasted the address from the call sheet into Google Maps. It took me to the wrong address and it's not Perrin Street. It took me to Perrin Avenue. I didn't even write anything. I took it straight from the call sheet. Jesus Christ. Now I'm 15 minutes late. <laughs> this is fucking comedy. What's up, guys? Hello. Jazz. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you doing, How's your drive? It's interesting. <laughs>
the October editions video is finished and submitted. I had to buy a track because I don't have the time to make the score myself this time. I did this video for Off-White, but the clothes never came. It's only the shoes that arrived. And now they are asking me to send back the clothes, but I never got them. And it sounds like I just stole them or something. <laughs> and I haven't started filming yet. I'm just doing administrative stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Isabel, could you get yeah. in your spot? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. You've been working on this for a year. A little over a year now. Are we what you pictured? <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, no one's exactly what I pictured. But it just worked out. So that's what's also beautiful about it, is that it's just you're made to think about it one way in your head and it goes in a way you don't expect it to, and it's far better than you can ever imagine. If you're just keeping yourself to what you have in your mind, you're gonna block out any other possibilities that might be far better than you could have ever thought. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Do you have one? Yes. It's uh, Eighth Grade by Bo Burnham. Aww. Sound. Sound speed. I roll. 10 chocolate, take two, mark. What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> well, it ranges. Mm. I'm a big transparent. Green. No, all color. I was, mine's green too. Which is really green. Mine is green not sucks. green. I'm blue. I can tell you my least favorite color is orange. Yeah. Even he knows you're weird, though. If you had to rate me out of, I don't know, 10 pills, what would you rate me? A five? Like, like a five? five? Like that's how many you need to deal with me? <laughs> Well, that's pretty nice. Nick, I have a speech prepared, but if you if you want to go for it, you can. I just yes. want to say yes. a giant, giant thank you to everyone. Um, I just, I'm so happy to have each and every one of you here. This is going to just show that all the work, the hard work that we put into this will pay off. Thank you so, so much for everything all you guys do. That's all from me, buddy. <laughs> Montclair film program there is before this take and after this take <laughs> <laughs> when you see it you will understand oh with I need to see it. with nothing to say okay. else no <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I'm dragging that shit you know I'm gonna drag <laughs> yeah we know the part we're going to we'll never get to see it I need to quiet on set <laughs> Funny. I'm about to show you a very special take from the film that we filmed. What makes it so special is that it's a one take, uh, not one take, it's a one shot. So the entire sequence is one continuous take. So this clip is us sitting in the movie room looking at the clip that we filmed the night prior and it's unedited. It's super overexposed because I'm filming this on an iPhone in a dark room. But that's all I have, so I wanted to share it with you. Enjoy. And congratulations to everybody involved. Yeah. We're done. Camera's coming down. Mm -hmm. Camera's coming downstairs. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I can't believe I live here. <laughs> I'd come in right at the right time. Alexa, lights off. Inshallah, she wins. Inshallah, you got this. Michelle! I'm rooting for you, okay? You got this. Please. Just you. And the Oscar goes to... Michelle. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes!
You got it, Michelle. That's my girl. Woo! Yeah, so much stunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>